Everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online Slow Tro Edition. This is Nor Renee. Say hello to everyone, Nor Renee. Good girl. When last we left off, we were here in the Arid Luin. We were all the way over here on the right side, just outside of Kiladul. Actually, when we left off, we were up here in the Hothlin area, in the Imen Hoth. Uh, fighting around the, the spiders down in this lower area and the barrows and the undead in the more northern area of it. And we've since returned and we are working on the last actual non-epilogue, um, non non-prologue um, quest that we have in the epic line here. And it is called the Fourth Gear. We had the, the our dwarf friend over there, uh, Bavor, who is in Thorin's Hall. And he's wanting us to find the missing Fourth Gear of the Puzzle Lock. And he said, it's down here in the Dowerhand uh, capital, the Dowerhand city of Keladul. So that is where we are headed now. We are just outside of Keladul. We're talking to our friends Sigurdur and Svarner, who uh, we've involved in some quests in this area before. So I am going to pull up stacks, see how she's doing as we proceed into the area. And we have the fourth gear, and then after the fourth gear, we have the prologue to avert a war. And then we will pretty much be done um, with this area as far as I know of. When we head back up to Thorin's Hall, we will check and see if there's any more quests around. We still have a quest that's too high for us over in, in Dualond. A silver ring over there in Dualon that we haven't been able to open up yet. So we will be checking back when we hit level 15 and 16 and all. We'll be checking back in with that. But first, we are going to get this accomplished. So let us head on into Keladul. Fight our way past the Dower Hands once more. Who, if I remember right, the last time we were here were dark blue and they are now light blue. And we are going to see if we can fight our way on in through here. Let's hit them with burning embers. Then let's wizard fire. Very good. I seem to remember both of them charging at me last time. I wonder if it's because we are a little bit... Hit them with a stick. wonder if it's because we are just a little bit more... Uh, stronger and tougher this time and that they don't quite want to take us on quite as much let's see if we can scoot right on past here i think we should be able to do that get on around and let's see if we have any chest or anything glittering or blinking or floating in the air or sparkles coming off of it or anything else Try not to step off into the the lake, the canals here, the port system. Um, you won't really get hurt, but it can be a bit of a swim to find a uh, set of stairs that you can get back up off of. There we go. Now let's hit them with a stick again. There we go. Remember we got... With these combat quests that we do, the combat deeds, it's hit them with a stick quite a few times in order to get that done. We got another broken urn over there. Imagine there's several hundred times that we have to pop things with sticks. Okay. Where might this thing be? I'm trying to figure if it's over that way. Let's see where we are here. No, yeah, unfortunately. Keladul doesn't have a more accurate map than that. So it's going to be mostly a question of just wandering around until we see exactly where it is that we're needing to find this uh, item. I am pretty sure that it is within a 
I see he's gust of wind so that we can hit them both. Pretty sure that it's within a quest, a, a chest. Okay, yeah, it doesn't take long at all now to take out these dour hands, does it? Hope everyone's been having a good one. I was planning on getting this one up yesterday. You have discovered the Killer Duel Docks. Well, what do you know? Killer Duel Docks. Let's go ahead, I suppose, and we'll, we'll go up top and then put in a... Uh, we will put in a uh, travel log entry from up there, won't we? I was hoping to get this one up yesterday, but unfortunately it was a situation where because that uh, the regular Lotro episode had gone on for so long, I ended up having an issue with uh, having to spend yesterday editing and getting it prepared to getting the second half of it prepared for uh, uploading. Sorry, for some reason I'm having slightly more trouble than usual uh, talking and uh, talking and uh, trying to, to to record at the same time. Alright, let's put our travel log entry in right here and we will be back in just a moment here. The Keladul Docks the ships which harbored at these docks once ferried goods along the western coast of Middle-earth to the White Mountains in the south. Now the Dower Hands use them to barter with the Dark Lord of Angmar to the north. Excellent. We've got the, the entry put in for our... Don't see anything here. Got the entry put in for the travel log. Let's check. Wooden chest. Hmm, I don't think that's it, but let's go down just to be sure. Jump down. Hit it with some fire. Hit it with a stick. There we are. Where did you go? There you are. Run up to catch us. Yep, the wooden chest there isn't sparkly or anything, so I think it's just your standard run of the mill wooden chest. So let us cross back across the bridges and get back over there to the other side as things seem to have started respawning behind us. Oh, yep, and things are respawning right in the middle of us as well, aren't they? Fortunately, Stax is a bad mojo. And she can definitely take out a few guys when she needs to. Okay, let's keep working our way back over to you, babe. I wasn't wanting this entire episode here to be about the Keladuel Docks. Well, not about us finding that on the Keladuel Docks, anyway. So we will see. First, let's heal up a little bit. And get ourselves... Come on, full hit points. I only have 432. It shouldn't be taking this long to, to get them all back here. I'm going to check over in this area next. And if we have to, we'll head back over here. And I have no idea. I'll be right back. Um... Excuse me there, that was our little Windows advisor talking to us. Um, for some reason, I'm not going to call her name, but for some reason, it's kind of like Siri on your iPhone, you know? If you, uh, call their, if you push the button and talk to them, they'll start answering your questions, the Microsoft version. And like I said, I won't mention her name, but it does have something to do with Halo, remember? 
And... For some reason, I'll have to go back and see what the heck it was I said there. The uh, computer thought that I had said her name and was trying to get her attention. Trying to ask her attention, so she was talking in the background. And going, hey, I can help you with that. I had that happen to me the other day as well. We were playing... Yeah, it was last night, uh, my brother Dwindon and I were playing... Doom, multiplayer Doom, and we, yeah, I'm wanting to say right around the corner here maybe, oh, there we go, look at it flashing right over there. We were playing multiplayer Doom, and it was a particular uh, co-op map that someone had built, it was a, a, a player created map, where you fight your way, they, they had, they said tried to recreate the, the beginning initial level of of Halo Combat Evolved, the very first Halo game. And in it they have of course your computer advisor and we were reading the dialogue that they gave you and the next thing you knew we mentioned uh, the advisor's name and my computer is talking to me. I can help you with that. Let me look at what kind of search I can get on the internet here. And it's like, what? Hold on, stop. Hold it. I don't need that kind of attention right now. Thank you. Oh, see, I'm forgetting I'm a squishy. These battles are taking me down a bit. With these three... Actually, let's see if we can get the Hendraval first. And then we'll pull the two... There we go. Then we'll pull the two dwarves after we heal up just a hair. I'm forgetting that I'm a squishy and I'm uh, charging into battle after battle. Remember we did that? That's how we we got uh, defeated a level or two ago and lost out on our undefeated our uh, undefeated titles. Because we have a tendency to not. Uh, Want to rest up. There we go. Now, can we get to the chest right quick? Let's go ahead and use it while we're healing up. And there we go. We have found the missing fourth gear. Now it's just a case of working our way back out of here. Which is probably just as easy to go this way as to go the other. Truthfully, I might could just run through here, and I probably will run through over at once we get to the actual doors. Let them bang on stacks for a while. It's the common... We will have the, the common situation that you see in people that talk about, uh, you know, bears. If I'm running away from something, I don't have to run faster than the bear. I just have to run faster than you. Which is kind of ironic, being that it's a bear I'm having to run faster than. But we won't get into the, lo the, the troubled logic of that particular thing. Goes right along the lines of, if there is a zombie invasion, be warned that I will trip you. Okay, so she's going to take care of them now. While we head on up the hill. Looks like she's going to fight the other one, or is she... Nope, the other one didn't attack. Good. All right, so we are going to head on back to Thorin's Hall now. And once we arrive back up there, as it seems like morning is coming, yep, it's the late watches, the uh, pre-dawn time, and we will head back on up to Thorin's Hall, find Bravor. We will hand in the fourth gear, see if there are any more quests scattered about Thorin's Hall, and then we will rejoin you for the final epilogue here. And I will see you in just a few minutes. We are back in Thorin's Hall, everyone. We're going to head right over here, talk to Bravor. He's our gentleman who is wanting the fourth gear here to the puzzle lock. 
and we will see what he has At to say about service, it. More repu families. more reputation with Thorin's Hall. Well done. I have this fitted in a minute. Get in there. Fit plash you. Ow, my thumb. Well, I'll have it in soon. There's only one gear left to go. Come on. Why? Why? I would be grateful for your assistance. This wretched gear won't fit. I'm guessing the fifth gear goes here, and the fourth atop it. Blast! Such art is lost. Yes, I must make it work. Ah, oh, well, I'm keeping you from your labors with my complaining. Yes, you are. The fifth missing gear was placed in a chest, hidden in the woods in eastern Hoth Lynn, north and east of Kelladul. However, a brood of vicious spiders amid the place their lair. It will be challenging to find the chest without running afoul of the vile creatures. All right, so we know this is the last gear we have to go find now. So first off, I am going to wander all around Thorns Hall by myself. We want to invite y'all along. They get a little funny with having an elf along, so y'all probably wouldn't want to see it. And we will rejoin you on our way back over to Hoth Lynn, assuming we don't find any more quests in here, which I'm not anticipating. Not anticipating that we'll find any more, but if we do, we'll see you. And if we don't, we will see you again back over probably uh, just north of Kelladul, where we were before. And I will see you then. Welcome back, folks. We are over here in the Maker's Hall. Let's pull it up. In Thorn's Hall, we are right in this area, just inside the door and to the left and just up the hall from the forges. And we come across Ivy Spokes, our lore master trainer, being that we are our lore master. Now, she's got... Oh, there she is talking to us again. Um, there she is talking to us. Um, um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Oh, now she's got me all come flamboozled. Ivy Spokes, the lore master trainer. Uh, she's got a silver ring above her head, and it is letting us know that she has a quest. But we don't have to remember about her because it, I will guarantee it was the level 15 lore master quest, which we will see just as soon as we start at gathering experience again and get to level 15. So that won't be a difficulty. Um, we have another one that I'll show you here in a minute just as soon as I've run through the the lower play part down here with the the uh, Thorns Hall Inn. So as soon as I check out the drunks down in the tavern and make sure they don't have any quest, I will be back with you. We have made the lap here. One thing we are going to do is check the dwarf marker. Y'all have seen us do this one before on on Narlo. It's the dwarf marker here. It says this milestone marks the place where the dwarves at the Lonely Mountain briefly settled on their long road to the Blue Mountain. So we'll go ahead and choose it. And that gives us the deed Exiles from the Lonely Mountain. Let's go ahead and pull it up. You found the dwarf marker in Thorns Hall. So if you remember, we have all these. Uh, I remember we found the one over here at Nars Peak. Remember when we were down in the the Inid Waith with Narlo, and we found the Nar uh, the the uh, Nars Peak. Don't know where the Pool of the King is. This Fourth Maru and the Ariant. So we got a ways to go yet. We've got quite a few ahead of us here, but we've gotten that deed started as well. We have one more quest that is still in this area. Close the alert box. I think it's right out here past Thorn Statue and off to the right. Over toward the vaults. So let's uh, head on out toward the entrance of the the mighty hall of the dwarves here. Go off just off to the right, I'm thinking. Yes, alrighty. If y'all remember the Arok that's over there by the Great Canal, this right here is the cage that he broke out of. There's an Arok loose over next to the corral and a couple of guards with spears holding him at bay. Here's where he came from. 
I love all the little details like that. Stuff that really doesn't have anything to do with anything, but just a nice little touch, a nice little bit that makes the place kind of comes alive. And here we are here, Isalif. Isalif has a quest for us that is still silver at this moment that I'm sure will pop up probably about the time we hit level 15. So y'all help remind me here. We have one here, and we have one over at Dualon with Badanass over in Dualon that we still got to get a hold of. Okay, so at this point, we are going to head out, and we are going to head on back. In fact, I think at this point, I am going to stop because I'm not going to do what I did with Narlo um, and end in the middle of an episode. So what we're going to do is we are going to end this one here. It's probably going to be a little shorter, but it looks like we have found all the quests that we can do in the Arid Luin right now. There's just the Lore Master quest that's coming up and we'll get it automatically. And then there's one here with... Uh, what was his name? Islif over there, and one over there with Badanass in Dualon. So we've still got to pick those up, but in the meantime, we are going to run back to Thrassy's Lodge. We are going to pick up the epic line here from Langless and go and rescue Aberthal. So we will do that next time. And in the meantime... I'm going to go think about whether I want to pour myself a glass of vodka or pour myself a glass of coffee. We'll see which way we go, and I will see you whenever we come back and finish the prologue. We'll see if we can't get that one up tomorrow morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for coming along, and bye-bye.